Mayor! Is anybody listening? Anybody? Well, you're not on a murder charge yet. Is there anybody there? Hi. I I've just got up. I've been trying to get hold of you all night. Oh. Jack's been in an accident. I'm trying to reach Diane. What? A, a car crash, you mean? No, he's been shot. Shot? Who by? Well, we don't know. But Robert and Andy have spent the night at the police station. Never. I've been trying this number, Bernice left Ashley, but I can't seem to get through. You don't have a contact for Diane, do you? No. Um, hang on, there's a hotel brochure in her bedroom. How bad is he? Well, he's pretty bad. Apparently he's had some shot removed from his lung in casualty. But they can't operate because he's got a concussion. Must have hit his head when he fell. I'll, I'll try and find that number. Jack, I don't know if you can hear me. It just was said it was an accident. Robert and Andy were going shooting. You're gonna have to take that young lad home. I've just seen him messing with the oxygen cylinder. Well, we were going anyway. Look, what happens if I phone you if there's any news? Daz, come on, we're going home. I was there. Still the same. Can I go and see Andy? No! I don't know where he is. Daz, I said no. Where's Dad? When did you arrange this? Oh. Hello? Donna, it's Andy. I need you to do me a favour. I need you to get in touch with Daz. Well, ring him then. <laughs> well, will you give him a message for me? Tell him I need a change of clothes and this is the only call I can make. Why? Where are you? I'm in the nick. Dad got shot last night. What? So is he dead? No. Why the police then? Did you shoot him? No, it was an accident. Just don't go tell anyone, Donna, please. <gasps> Donna? Donna! Jack, something's been shot! What? Jack! Is he alright? Oh, how bad is he? When? Not dead, I hope. Yeah, I think so. And Andy's in his police custody. Donna, what are you saying? He's not dead. Oh, do you realise what damage you do when you start spreading rumours? He has been shot, though, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, and Andy is in custody? Both lads are. What's he ringing you for, anyway? Oh, he wanted his clothes. Was it one of the boys who shot him? I don't know. Bob, believe me, if I knew, I would tell you, but I think for Diane's sake, we should just try and keep a lid on all the gossip. Yeah, of course, sorry. Somebody told Diane. Well, we had the wrong number to start with. And Ashley's trying to get in touch with Bernice. Very good to her, gently. So, is there anything we can do? Well, somebody should go up to Butler's farm, maybe, make sure all the animals are all right. Well, well Bob, you're free now, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't know the first thing about cattle. Uh, maybe Emily can go up there. I'll, I'll go and ask her. It'll be so much to do with Robert and Katie this, I'll bet. Bob, I said no gossip. Sorry. Remember what I said about not talking. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Andy wants some clean clothes. Does that mean they're letting him out? I don't know, I didn't ask. You didn't ask? I don't know how stupid is that? All right. What's he in for anyway? Did he shoot Jack? Tony, you're unbelievable, do you know that? Well, Jack's been shot. Yeah, why would Andy shoot him? He's got nothing against Jack. Casey, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah? I, I understand it's quite serious. Yeah. Uh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Well, yeah, you could take these two, Andy, for it. No, I'll take them. Well, maybe Mr Turner could give you a lift. Well, Donna, will you stop interfering? Would you? Um, yes, yes, of course, if that's the only way I can be helpful. Come on, then. Come on. Do you want me to come in with you? No, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>